and happy start of your summer vacation. If you haven't signed up for summer reading yet, make sure you come in so that we can get you started on that. And today I'm going to show you how to make this acorn marble necklace. Let's look at my hair. Let's get started. Okay, here we go. So I just wanted to show you up close again what it looks like. So we have our marble here and then our acorn cap, which during the fall you'll be able to just find outside, hopefully, and then our string. Now, after this is made, which it's not hard to make, um, if you wanted to get a different string to make it a little more fancy and to give it away for a gift maybe, um, you can totally change whatever yarn or string or thread you'd like to use. Um, this is just what I had and I always like to use what I have before I have to buy anything new. Um, so I'm just going to show you the steps I did to make this. So the first thing I did, which I've already done for you guys, is to make holes in our acorn cap. And so I'm going to use this blade to do it. I did it for you because I wasn't sure how many of you would have one and I wanted to avoid any accidents at home. So if you did want to remake this on your own, I would have a grown up do this part. So I'm just using my blade to make these small holes which are already made in your acorn caps and I don't even know there you go you can see that hole and then one across here so then all I did after that was to first put my string through each of these holes and what I did is to put one of the strings through the inside of the acorn through one hole and then the other end through the other one so that both of the pieces of yarn are coming up out of the acorn and I can tie it off. So when I did that, I did tie a knot here just to make sure it's secure there and then another knot up here once I figured out how long I wanted it to be on my neck. Um, and then after that is done, you're going to use your marble and fit it in there and then by doing this part after you put the piece of yarn or string or thread it makes it so that it also puts glue on the thread and it's more likely to stay in place i've made this a couple months back and it's as you see still in place and i didn't use any kind of fancy glue i actually just used some clear glue some elmer's glue so you can use whichever glue. The most important part, most important part is to just let it dry completely before you put it on. And there you have it. That is how you make this acorn marble necklace. Depending on which marble you used, you can get some really cool effects. Um, you can even try putting marbles in the oven to give them this crackle effect. I did not want to do that just for the sake of not making a mess in my kitchen and or possibly have them bouncing out at me um but there you have it hope you guys enjoy and we'll see you next time